Let's play a game of guess who. It's your job to guess exactly who Mad Mix is talking about here. Which other fellow conspiracy theorist is Mad Mix criticising in this short clip? This dude, this new messiah, no, 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 not bridging, the other messiah. And anyone who, who doesn't look at his evidence and doesn't, doesn't stand by him shoulder to shoulder is all part of it. I'm sure you all guessed that Mad Mix was talking about Gary Waterman. He's the former police constable turned born again Christian and now the revealer of great and cosmic truths. Gary is the man who believes that he has single-handedly exposed the, the rotten heart at, at the core of the British financial system. He has looked into the company's house database and found it riddled with all kinds of uncanny corruption and fraud. And he wants to be the man to tell the world about it. Why? Well, because he wants to save the children. Uh, and if you remember a few weeks ago, I predicted that we would be taking some delight in watching the, the meltdown and self-immolation of this preposterous conspiracy theorist. Little did I know that it would be coming very soon indeed. In fact, thanks to Gary's less than careful habit of sharing his private communications with other conspiracy theorists, I think it's safe to say that it's starting now. Going back to the 5G, now I suspect that was part of the plan to make it appear as though he's not potentially uh, aware of those individuals. It's, there's more information coming in that it potentially may be connected to them, but I haven't verified that yet. This is something quite bizarre that Gary seems to do quite a lot. He has these discussions with other conspiracy theorists, and then when they say something he disagrees with, he pastes videos of, of those private messages on his own channel. Uh, well, his rapidly diminishing channels, I should say, because Gary recently got kicked off YouTube. Uh, but here's a private conversation between Gary Waterman and Mark Steele. And it seems the, the essence of their disagreement is that Gary Waterman believes that 5G is an existential threat and must be destroyed immediately. Whereas Mark Steele, believe it or not, is taking a more cautious approach. Mark Steele is saying that we shouldn't vandalise the 5G equipment. Well, well, of course we shouldn't. It's illegal and dangerous and we need our phones. But, but Gary is the, I guess he's the, the hot-headed youngster on the conspiracy scene and, and he wants action now. And he doesn't seem to be happy at all with the kind of, well, restraint that Mark Steele seems to be showing on this occasion. Um. And here he's, he's focusing on the, the um, ULES cameras, okay? The reason I'm focusing on the surgical weapons as these are an easily identifiable weapon. So evidently, Mark Steele thinks it's completely okay to encourage people to uh, tear down ULES cameras. Uh, and he has, of course, encouraged a whole load of people to do that. He, he's famously the inspiration behind the Blade Runners, that group who vandalise camera equipment in London. They're, they're a truly terrible bunch of people who, despite boasting about their many, many crimes, seem to have eluded capture by the Metropolitan Police. One wonders if they're able to catch anybody these days if, if you can't catch people as obviously criminal as the Blade Runners. But Mark has been their inspiration. Gary doesn't want that. Gary wants people to destroy 5G equipment. He, he literally wants people to, to burn down the towers, uh, which is a, it's a terrible thing to want. But uh, that's what Gary seems to be arguing. He is, I, I can't believe I'm actually saying that in an argument between two conspiracy theorists, Mark Steele is actually being the more sensible. Uh, you know what, I never thought I'd find someone madder than Mark Steele, but here he is. Gary is completely nuts. Let's look at this response from Mark Steele. Hi, Mark. I hope you're OK. There's lots of evidence coming out on my telegram in relation to you now, Mark, um, that you were asking me to meet you at a location to disable a mast, but you weren't willing to do one yourself. Gary really shouldn't be so surprised about this behaviour. It's, after all, Mark's standard mode of operation. He encourages other people to vandalise 5G towers or ULEZ cameras, 
and then sort of takes the credit for it without actually admitting that he was the, the person who directly inspired the crime. But it's usually quite obvious from hearing some of these people talk that Mark Steele had to be the person who inspired their criminal behaviour. Gary, on the other hand, seems to suspect that Mark's reticence to commit the actual crime himself has a, an even darker motive. He was uh, going to meet me at a location for me to disable the mast, okay, for me to disable the mast and him be part of that. He was willing to do that, but not to disable his mast, the mast himself. Now, I suspect this was an attempt to meet with me, to silence me. Gary Waterman believes that Mark Steele wants to kill him. Gary believes that if he had met with Mark Steele, he would be murdered by Mark Steele. Now, uh, Mark Steele may have had a somewhat violent past. As we all know, in the year 1992, he shot a teenage girl in the face in an act of drunken and possibly drug fueled bravado. Mark Steele was intending to shoot a completely different person, but his aim was not true, and the, the illegal handgun that he owned was improperly fired. The bullet hit a teenage girl in the face, and as a result, she was severely crippled, and she had to undergo many years of physiotherapy in order to regain the ability to walk. It's a, a truly terrifying story. Mark Steele was convicted of shooting that teenage girl, and he was sentenced to six years in prison. Uh, eventually, he got out uh, after only serving four years. So still a considerable prison sentence. Some may say not enough, but uh, so turns the wheels of justice. Uh, so it doesn't seem completely preposterous that Mark Steele might have violent designs on some people, maybe even me. But I can't think of any reason why Mark Steele would want to injure Gary Waterman. Uh, after all, he's not a particularly important figure. He, he's just uh, yet another conspiracy truther with quite exaggerated opinions of his own importance. I suspect there's already been an attempt on my life. There's many, many people who have been insistent that I go and meet with them personally. I suspect that was to remove me and silence me. Let's have another little amuse-bouche from uh, Mr. Mad Mix, uh, the gentleman who we had on at the beginning, uh, yet another conspiracy theorist, but, but one who has clearly had enough of Gary Waterman's utter nonsense. He doesn't want to meet him, he wants to kill him. Um, who else was it wanted to kill him? Andrew Bridgen wouldn't talk to him as well. He's gone against Andrew Bridgen. Every, everyone who's said, look, fuck off, you're a nutcase. Gary Waterman is too crazy even for other conspiracy theorists. He's lost mad mix respect, and now he's about to lose Mark Steele. In fact, Mark Steele is telling Gary Waterman that Gary is too crazy. Imagine a situation where Mark Steele appears to be the more sensible conspiracy theorist. I, I never believed that day would come. In fact, I named my channel after Mark Steele because I thought he is the, the quintessentially absurd, ridiculous conspiracy theorist that there could never be an example of a man so far out of his depth, so completely unaware of his own ignorance. And then Gary Waterman comes along and, and he seems to blow everything out of the water. He is the most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. It's obvious you have never been on remand and how that would disable our current success against these criminals. I know 5G is a weapon. I know it's going to kill millions. However, without success in the courts against the government, more will die and are getting murdered. I think Gary is making a play to take over the extreme lunatic wing of the truther movement. And those are the people who would traditionally be Mark Steele's hardcore audience. He's delivered a message that is tailor-made to people who completely lack any critical abilities or scientific background. Uh, and I think, coupled with the fact that Gary Waterman has the same egotistical desire to be the, the tip-top expert of, of the whatever community he has defined, well, that has, by default, put him at odds with Mark Steele. Because there can be only one. There can only be one leader of the conspiracy truther movement, and Gary believes it should be him. 
And as Mad Mick said at the beginning, anybody who is not playing by Gary's rules must be part of the conspiracy, including his old teacher, mentor, and friend, Mark Steele. I've been alerted to your bearing false witness and information over ULES and 5G. I shouldn't have to remind you, Gary, but it's obvious you haven't read either scripture or the commandments. Christian views on lying, uh, part of a series on the Ten Commandments, and then he reads part of that. Well, I don't know what lies he's claiming I've made. On to mention some scripture. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbour. Biblical Hebrew, and then he puts it in Hebrew. I find it rather amusing that Mark Steele provided that biblical quotation in the original Hebrew, which is a language that neither he nor Gary can read or write, so rendering it completely pointless. But it's a, a clue as to the kind of religion that both of these men practice. Their Christianity is really quite superficial. It's a posture that they have adopted to make themselves more acceptable to their gullible fans, who, who live in a sort of mystical Christian-adjacent world. So by claiming to be Christians, by claiming to, to follow that religion's precepts and, and dogma, well, it, it, they are more acceptable. They are more likely to be accepted and have their ridiculous conspiracy theorists believe. After all, it worked for Russell Brand, I'm sure it will work for Gary and Mark, but to a much lesser extent. And then Mark responded, you need to repent. You have made several false statements and judgments about me. Be interesting to know which statements they are. Uh, about 5G weapons, their potency, and have encouraged people to put them at risk of arrest. Uh, you are attempting to distract people from what is more the more obvious technical weapon. Superficially, this argument appears to be about who out of Gary and Mark is the most Christian. But what it's really about is who is going to command the anti-5G conspiracy movement. That's been a niche that Mark Steele has arguably been one of the main leaders, one of the main spokesmen for. If you wanted to find a, a person to talk about 5G and, and how it was going to kill your grandma, Mark Steele would be the person that you'd interview. And now there's this new guy on the scene, and he's come up with a, an entirely new, more vibrant story. He's combined 5G with the, the disappearance of Madeleine McCann, with adrenochrome, with, with just about every conspiracy theory known to man. And that's threatening because Gary Waterman is destroying Mark Steele's market share. It is you as lost the false information over television and Moore's um, the fact that you have known police informers posting on your channel is very worrisome. Uh, you possess no technical knowledge and understanding over the 5G, um, WBA and weapons, and believe you may have taken the injection, as this is uh, this would make sense considering your ramblings. I'm not too sure if I'm rambling. May God have mercy on your soul. Rambling, yeah. Uh, and it turns out that Mark Steele isn't the only conspiracy theorist who has noticed that Gary likes to ramble. These are the ramblings of a madman. I, I dealt with a lot of mental health people. This is the ramblings of a man who has lost touch with reality. And it's just fucking crazy. I mean, like you fucking weird cunt. It's profoundly uncomfortable to admit this, but on this point, I actually agree with Mad Mix and Mark Steele because Gary's words really are the ramblings of a madman. His behaviour is completely insane. His paranoia is off the scale. And a few weeks ago, I predicted his demise. I, I said that he would find a way to self-immolate, to destroy himself, to basically ruin his life. And, well, it's happening. I, I, I predict that within a few weeks, Gary will find himself sectioned, and that means he will be detained against his will in some kind of secure mental health facility, where he will be prevented from harming himself, and he will be prevented from encouraging other people to commit crimes, like destroying 5G equipment. For, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud ye 
and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that is, shall leave them neither root nor branch. Now, I presume he's referring to a part in the Bible. I don't know all bits of the Bible. OK, I don't know every bit of the Bible. It's truly bizarre watching these two conspiracy theorists try to beat each other up over who can be the most religious. It's clear that Gary Waterman knows almost nothing about the religion that he claims to be affiliated with. And Mark Steele, well, he's presumably got his quotes from some kind of online Bible concordance and is simply pasting things to, to Gary. Uh, and he's only really using his religiosity as a cudgel to beat up other conspiracy theorists. Their religiosity is so superficial uh, as to render it completely and obviously fake. Let's leave the last word, though, on this subject to our dear friend, Mad Mix. And the more of these videos he makes, the more... Like, I hadn't made a video that I ain't got fuck all to talk about today until I saw his video, and now I'm like, what a cunt. So watch it for yourself, guys. Watch it for yourself. Let me know if you think he's a complete cunt, like I do. And if you agree with Mad Mix's diagnosis of Gary Waterman's mental state, I'd love it if you left a comment below. Uh, I really do value all of your comments. I, I read them all, and I reply to as many as I can. And while you're there, please subscribe to this channel, uh, not just for my own ego. Um, there's a very good reason why I want your subscriptions. It's because now that Gary Waterman and Mark Steele have been kicked off YouTube, if anybody searches for their name, the chances are they will find my channel. And the thing that determines whether the search goes to, to my channel or, or some other conspiracy truther channel is the number of subscribers. That's literally the most important thing when you're a YouTube channel operator. So the more people who subscribe to my channel, the more easy it is to bring people here. And, and this will be the place where people find out about Gary and Mark. Uh, won't that be fun to know that, that all of their efforts to promote ridiculous conspiracy theories have resulted in this, a channel whose purpose is to undermine them, to destroy their credibility by telling the truth about who they are. That's the project. That's what Mind of Steel has been all along. And I'd really appreciate your help. And also, while we're here, if you want to uh, get Mind of Steel episodes early, just search for mindofsteel.substack.com where I post everything as soon as it's ready. No wait at all. And it's all completely free. Anyway, I have more bonkers conspiracy nonsense in one week's time.